Hello everybody, I'm James Quattro and this week I've got a 2021 Ford Mustang GT. All right, now this one here is a 301A package. Uh, so it's not the premium, no leather, none of that. It's a very well-equipped vehicle, uh, cloth seats, uh, that really doesn't come with a horrible price tag. If you can please take the time to like the video, subscribe, and ring the little bell. That way you don't miss anything. On any of my future videos, I've got some cool stuff coming through the pipeline that I can't wait to show you, and you'll never know if you don't hit the notification button. Also, you can find me on Facebook. I've got a Facebook page, which is for myself here at the dealership, and you can find that at James at Burdick Ford. All right, now this one here is in the color of Rapid Red. Uh, really not a whole lot to talk about up front other than just the beautiful styling that we've all seen and loved on the Mustang. Uh, but the one thing I do want to talk about was the stripe. Uh, this does have the racing stripe, which for 21 is an asymmetrical uh, stripe, so it's got the big stripe with the skinnier one next to it. I think it looks pretty sharp, especially in the rapid red, which really just kind of breaks it up a little bit. But man, I love the styling of the headlights with the three accent lights in here, uh, the uh, projector beam headlights. I just love the sharp angles and just the way the front end of the Mustang looks. And most importantly, it is a GT, so it's got the Coyote 5.0 V8 under the hood. All right, so really what this car is all about and the way we spec it out is more of a price point Mustang. You know, it's still got the Coyote V8, which is important, uh, but it doesn't have a mid-50s price tag. So this one here, as I mentioned, is a 301A package, which gives it the dual zone automatic climate controls and gives you the satellite radio. Uh, some additions that are on this vehicle, the Rapid Red uh, is a premium because it is a tri-coat paint. That price tag is $395 for that. Uh, it does have the 10-speed automatic transmission. As much as it hurts me to know that the manual transmissions are dying, nobody really wants one. Uh, I've seen manuals that we've gotten here that have sat on a lot forever. Uh, this does have the 10-speed automatic, uh, which you know anybody that really knows their numbers about the Mustang knows that the automatic is actually quicker than the, than the manual. Uh, so really, the only reason to get a manual is because it's just fun to drive. And that's why I would get one. Uh, the over-the-top stripe, which I pointed out already. This one does have the safe and smart package. Um, and the active valve performance exhaust because that throaty exhaust really is really what the, the Coyote is all about. Uh, also, we've added uh, ceramic coating on the vehicle. And at Burdick Ford, we don't charge over sticker. So all those dealerships charging, you know, 10 grand over sticker. We don't do that here. MSRP on this vehicle is 43865 And the Protect All Ceramic Coat is 999 So 44864 is the price of this vehicle plus taxes. And it's clearly marked right on the outside of the vehicle. And this one does have the 18 inch black machined wheels, which are standard. Uh, look really sharp with this vehicle, uh, especially the rapid red with the black everywhere. It kind of ties it together. And on the back here, it does have the lip spoiler, which again, nothing crazy over the top. It just looks nice and clean and gives it that little bit extra in the rear. In the back here, very simple. You've got the piano black uh, panel on the back with the chrome GT badge. You've got your backup camera here. Uh, the over the top stripe carries right down to the rear bumper. And you do have the quad tip exhaust and the rear diffuser, which really does 
look sharp. Now onto the seat that truly is the most important seat on this vehicle, and that is the driver's seat. Uh, now this one does have smart key entry, so just grab the door handle, it automatically unlocks. Uh, when you go to exit the vehicle, just hit the hash marks on top of the, on top of the handle, and that'll uh, lock your vehicle. So keyless entry. And you do have all your basics, your power windows, power locks, uh, you've got your power seats, uh, power mirrors, you've got your automatic headlights. Uh, this one does have a uh, lane keep alert as well. And something that's really pretty cool on the cloth seats on this, it's got a nice embossed uh, double racing stripe through the middle of the seats with the Mustang embossed right on there, which is really pretty cool. All right. All right, now that we're in here, really comfortable. I love the bucket seats of sports cars. Uh, those that don't know, I do uh, I do race. I have raced for a long time. Uh, more into rally cross and performance rally and that kind of stuff. Uh, and there's nothing better than just a nice tight fitting seat and that's just my own personal preference. Um, and this fits really comfortably. You know, I'm not a small guy by any stretch of the imagination and I don't feel that it cuts into me at all. Uh, some of the more dramatic Recaro seats tend to do that. I still like it, but that's just my own personal preference. Somebody's got the seat way up, there we go. I like to sit nice and low. All right, now for a fairly basic Mustang, again, an MSRP right around $45,000, to me, is a, is a basic Mustang. I mean, you can get way up into the 50s. Uh, this one's not there, but you're not lacking anything. I'm not sitting here saying, man, I wish it had more. You know, if you need leather, you need heated seats, you need cooled seats and all that stuff, I understand. You know, if you're gonna pay $50,000 for a vehicle, you want it to have luxury. But if you just want to have a vehicle that is just fun to drive without completely breaking the bank, still has the V8 power and sound, this is all you need. And I've still got my Bluetooth. Uh, I've still got my cruise control. You know, I've got my radio controls here. I've got some advanced safety things, which, you know, on a Mustang, you can take your leave. Uh, it's nice to have and, and you know, going forward, you're gonna see a lot more of it and everything. And it's just, it's just the way it is. Uh, you've got your SYNC 3 system, which is still great. You know, I'm a huge fan of the new SYNC 4. You know, hopefully, when the all new 23 Mustang comes out, uh, I'm assuming they're gonna carry the SYNC 4 into that, I really hope they do. Uh, but this one's got navigation, you know, that's, that's pretty cool. You've got your uh, climate controls in here, which are dual zone automatic climate controls, that's part of the 301A package. Uh, you can control those through the radio, you can also control them with hard buttons. Uh, they're more of actually a toggle up and down and the kind of a climate control strip over here. You got your push button start, which comes with the keyless entry that we already talked about. Uh, you've got your drive modes. You've got both steering modes, which are normal, sport, and comfort. And then you've got your driving modes, which are normal, sport plus, track. And it gives me a warning. Uh, drag and snow and wet so even if you want to take it you know in the northern roads in the winter it's still got a snow mode where can we get snow tires of course um but you know if you if you want to drive a sports car in the winter they give you that option some other things that i like you know being a sports car you know, i love having the the handbrake here and everything else is going to digital handbrakes and all that yeah, i like still having the handle here so if you really want to drive it hard, it gives you that option. Or obviously it's intended for, which is emergency braking. You don't need as much on a rear wheel drive because you can power slide, which is a lot of fun. Uh, front wheel drive, you definitely need a handbrake. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, what more can you ask for? So there you have it. The 2021 Ford Mustang GT. Not your highest luxury version, but really, what more do you need? 
you got a V8, rear wheel drive, and an exhaust will turn heads. When it comes to the Mustang, really, at the end of the day, what more do you need? Don't forget to like my video, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. If you made it this far, I'm assuming that you like my content, and I've got a lot more stuff coming, and I'd hate for you to miss it. Also, check me out on Facebook, James at Burdick Ford. Until next time, see you later.